Here is a Pokemon we have not seen in a very long time in the metagame. Used to dominate for a little bit, now it kind of fell off the, the cliff there and nowhere to be seen. If you are a user subscriber of mine, welcome back. If you are new to this channel, I am Spartan Strike. I do focus on Pokemon TCG, whether it be in real life or online, and eventually I will broaden into other Pokemon related content couple of quick things before I actually talk about um, this new deck or not new deck but an old deck uh, with some upgrades uh, I've pre previously recorded some videos that I found out were extremely blurry now I did mention this again in another video so I'm sorry if you're hearing this twice but I just want to make sure I get all my bases covered um, there were like two first impression videos and then one deck profile that uh, it came out really really blurry and I was trying to figure out editing and and the OBS system which couldn't quite capture my screens very well so um, that's what kind of caused the blurriness uh, it, it's a little bit more complicated or at least kind of technical um, but you know I do apologize for those uh, it looks to be like everything's better now so hopefully if um, <clears throat> it, it's going to stay that way and if it doesn't please let me know if there's anything wrong with the screens or anything like that Second thing is uh, I did invest in a new mic. Um, I'm hoping that it's a lot better for you guys. Uh, I've kind of noticed a bit of clarification in the volume uh, of my of my voice uh, with the new mic. So I haven't played around with it. Maybe it, it could get better, but you guys let me know what you guys think if the mic is actually better uh, with the with the videos with my deck profiles and my first impressions. Um, and that way. You know, I, I know that I've invested in, in something good here. Uh, and I think that's going to be pretty much it. So let's get on to the main event. This is a deck profile on an oldie but a goodie, Lapras GX. Now, when Lapras GX first came out, it was a highly sought after GX card um, for many, many reasons. It was It's a beefy uh, GX card. It's got 190 HP, which got it, it's good. That's really good. That's a little bit above average. Uh, for a standard basic GX uh, card, it does have a it does have three attacks. Now, one attack, collect, draw three cards. Okay, if you're starting off with Slapper's GX, sure, you could you know use that as potential to draw into more cards. The 160 attack for three energies, Blizzard Burn, but you can't attack during your next turn. Much like a lot of Pokemon um, that we have, like for instance, uh, Volcanion, uh, uh, Ho Oh, and then Buzzwall even. Now, it does have an, a GX attack, which is a little underwhelming, but it's got a nice little a side effect. Ice Beam GX, 3 energy, 100 damage, then your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. So the combo was always this. Um, because, you know, you had that, that, G, that, that Blizzard Burn attack that you wouldn't allow to attack on a second turn, you would GX your opponent's GX Pokemon and then knock it out with a Blizzard Burn. Or, I'm sorry, I think it's the other way around, you Blizzard Burn with Choice Band 190, hopefully KOing uh, your opponent's Pokemon, uh, if it's a, it's a Lele or a Buzzwall. And then on your next turn, you would Ice Beam GX your next opponent's active Pokemon. They will be paralyzed, they can't retreat, so they have to find a Switch, an Escape Route, a Guzma or something. Um, but if they don't, well then, now it's your turn again, and then you can use Blizzard Burn to finish it off. So essentially, it was a pretty strong card. Um, <clears throat> yes, uh, it's seen a lot less play, and I think it's mainly because of the grass weakness, because Glycopod is a is is pretty strong in the meta right now. Uh, Glycopod Zoroark is being played quite a bit, <clears throat> and it's not that friendly to grass, because even one first impression KOs this with weakness. Even if you give it a Fighting Fury Belt, it's still going down. So it doesn't really do very well with that with that deck, but. Um, when I was playing around with this deck, uh, I wanted to update it a bit some, and I think I found the nice right setup for it. And out of the like 10, 12 matches, I pro maybe 8 out of the 10, I won a good amount of them. The only times uh, the, I lost was because I, I just had dead hands and I, I couldn't really work with it. But um, overall, it's a pretty fun deck, and, and hopefully I get to show off exactly... Uh, what this deck can do and maybe people should kind of reconsider Lapras. I mean, it's no different than a Buzzwall. Now, Buzzwall does have a much stronger GX, sorry, much stronger GX um, attack, yes, but the, the main attack is, is essentially the same. So, again, I think we kind of need to reconsider Lapras a little bit. You know, I think it needs to come back into the meta. So here are the other cards that go with it. 
So as far as Pokemon, uh, I do have the Dawn Wings, which is played a lot with a bunch of these cards that can't attack after you know using their main attack. Uh, basically, you attach a float stone on the Dawn Wings, you Invasion Entity active, you retreat back into your Pokemon that couldn't attack, and then that basically resets it so you could attack again. Uh, so definitely have at least two of these guys in my deck in case one gets prized up. Two Lele's just to make sure that I can um, draw into a supporter card when I need it. Um, I do like doing the turn one Bridget if I can. Now it seems pretty weird to do a turn one onto this type of deck because usually people do that for like, you know, Garchomp or Empoleon, you know, an evolution heavy deck. But what I like to do is um, get out a Lapras and a Rangaroo and a Donald Wings and basically just have that board set up that way I can start you know accelerating the energy and things like that I do have two orangaroos which I'm finding to be kind of nice it's nice to have that option of being able to draw into the cards use those cards and then draw into those again uh, I don't really need to um, orangaroo is actually a card that I don't necessarily need in this deck either but it, like I said orangaroo is just always handy to have if you can keep them onto your bench as far as energies like i'm only playing 11 which is still okay ideal for max elixirs i usually like to play 12 but because i wanted to add um, a couple other things in here I, I made it just 11 so i only lost one space and i do have 39 trainer cards i am maximizing out the elixirs so i can accelerate the energy fast and in the case that i have the ultra ball away water energies i have the reassurance that i can bring them back with aqua patches so i do have four of those now i do play the one bridget like i already said i don't need to necessarily play it um, because I do play some nest balls in addition to the ultra ball so I can get those basic Pokemon out a little bit quicker um, It's either or uh, I could probably drop the Bridget and, and you know get something else But I, I like to keep it there for now three field blowers in case Garbotoxin is a thing Because Garbotoxin would really shut this whole deck down because this is what I rely on on that invasion Being able to jump in the active and then retreat back into my Lapras so he can attack again I do play the one super rod no rescue stretchers i'm not really needing that to rescue a pokemon from my discard pile just because i play four lapras and you know two of each of these is is, is standard enough I, I'm, I'm good without the rescue stretcher i can just always bring it put it back into my deck and search for it again later one pal pad to recover those supporters that i lose i do play my standard uh supporter draw support here uh four cynthia's three ends one sycamore uh, I do have three choice bands in the case that I want to beef up my Lapras to the 190 to knock out that buzz ball if, I, if need be. Um, <clears throat> so I always have it there. Three float stones. Now I know I play two Dawn Wings. Why would I need three? Well, I'm finding that, you know, if, if I attach it too early, it's going to, uh, your opponent's going to use Fuel Blower. So it's just good to have three. I did try two for a while. I didn't like it. I much have I, I like the reassurance of having three float stones. Worst case scenario, you can also attach it to a Rangaroo and then retreat back into Lapras at least early on in the game. And then <clears throat> there was the only um, odd card here is Po Town. Now I could have used this uh, for more space, I guess, for draw support, maybe Shauna's or maybe even a Lily. But I'm I'm kind of trying this out here, Po Town. Uh, whenever your opponent plays a Pokemon from their hand to evolve one of their Pokemon you get to put three damage counters on that Pokemon. So that actually plays really nice with the numbers here. Your Lapras won't be able to hit 210. 210 is a, an ideal number because of Zorark GX, but with the choice banner, you're doing 190. So if your opponent evolves into a Zorark GX from the Zorua, then there's already three damage counters on there, bringing it down to 180. Now your Lapras can uh, KO that Pokemon with that one, uh, with that one hit. And... I, th I think it just works out much nicer to have that Po Town. Maybe I want to drop the bridge and increase the Po Town by one more, just so that way I have that extra stadium there. But we'll see. Overall, like I said, I like this deck. I like the way it was built. Um, it was a pretty solid deck. Uh, yes, I ran into some dead hands, but it's going to happen. Uh, random number generating RNG. You know, you can't really rely on it. So um, it is what it is. But hopefully, in the next three matches, I show you that I get to show you that. Lapras does deserve its time to shine. So let's get into these matches. Let me put on the music. Playing some Nintendo music here. Um, if it is too loud, please let me know in the comments so that way I can adjust it later. But I think it's I think it's alright. Alright, 
let's see who is our first one psychic dark hmm goes by the name of guest player how original I won the coin flip yay I do like to go first for this deck I do like to go first now this is an issue I've been running into a lot is that I've had to mulligan several times Ooh, okay uh, my opponent had the mulligan too so we're kind of in the same boat here I don't know if I want to start off with the Dawn Wings or with the Lapras. I think I want to accelerate into the Lapras. So I'm going to start with the Dawn Wings, bench the Lapras, hit done. And then, let's see, I'm going to nest ball into a Rangaru. What is he playing? Zorark? Ooh, Zorark Garbodor, probably. <laughs> Not a fan. I do need to draw support, so I'm definitely gonna Lele for either an N or for a Sycamore, maybe a Cynthia, depending on what his starter Pokemon is. I'm thinking Zorua? Ooh, he had a mulligan three times? I didn't even notice that. Done. I've got everything I need. Evotel. Well, that's interesting. Okay, so <clears throat> let me start benching some stuff here. Uh, I'm gonna get one of those. Let me check my deck actually really quick. So I have all my Pokemon. Uh, I am missing a Lapras. Yeah, I'm missing a Lapras. Not a big deal. Uh, missing an Elixir. Ooh, missing a Field Blower. I have my two Po Towns, three Ultra Balls. Okay, I have my other two Float Stones, which is good. Okay, I'm I'm not too bad of a shape here. Uh, I am going to grab another Lapras. Okay. He decides to quit. <clears throat> I don't know if it's because I took too long, which I didn't think I did. I mean, it's kind of standard that if you get to search in your deck, you would start to see what your prize guards are, but hey. All right, so that didn't really show off much of anything. Maybe he was intimidated by a Lapras. Fighting Dark and Colorless. I'm thinking Buzzwall Zorark. This might be a tough match. This actually will be a tough match. Ooh, I get to go first again. Thinking Buzzwell Zork. Ooh, okay. Uh hmm. Depending on Hmm. I think I have options here. I think I can do something. I think. Definitely I'm definitely gonna turn one Bridget. Or not. Let's see. Let's see what's in my deck. Okay, so I have Bridget. <clears throat> I have a Lapras, a Ringaru, Aqua Patches. No, okay. I thought all my elixirs were prized. I was like, what? Okay, I have my elixirs. Okay, so here is. Oh, actually, do I have another? I do have another Lele. Okay, so this is why. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do something different here. This might be the wrong play, but I'm going to go with it. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to do this. I know this looks bad. But just, just roll with me here, okay? Trust me. Trust me. Uh, I'm going to grab the Orangaroo. Okay, see, Lapras is already basically charged up. I just need to find a Floatstone now. <clears throat> Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna stick them more. <clears throat> I, want, I want seven, I want seven cards. And this is what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Right here, done. See, see how fast that was set up, Potown. Uh, I'm going to put the choice band there for now, and then that's it. I am ready to go on my next turn, so let's see what this guy brings to the table here. I really think he could get a fast uh, setup as well, but we'll see.
worst case scenario, like Guzma, <clears throat> he needs to put another basic Pokemon down. Okay. Um. <laughs> All right, at least I got to show you something there. It shows you how fast Lapras can be built up with, with the combination of the Aqua Patches and and the Max Elixirs. I mean, Ultra Ball in a way, Water Energies is, is okay, knowing that you can have the Aqua Patch later to bring back that Water Energy. Man, okay. So two for two. First one kind of doesn't count, but hey, a, a win's a win, right? Water, Fighting, and Psychic. So I'm thinking Buzzwall, Buzzwall, Octillery, Garbodor? Is that a thing? Okay, now they get to go first, which does make all the difference. Okay. okay I'm going to bench that other Lapras. Depending what I draw into will determine <clears throat> how I go about my strategy here. Because I'm thinking Nest Ball into a Ranguru, Ultra Ball, the card I draw into, and Water Energy for a Lele. What is going on? <laughs> I just want to play one long match. You know what? I hope the next match that we actually get to play, I lose. Why... Why did he quit? Did he just like draw into a dead hand? <clears throat> Water Psychic? Water Psychic. Water Psychic. Um, Greninja Break? I can only assume Greninja Break. Now Greninja Break might cause a problem just cause they're, they're only worth one prize cards. Ooh, this is not ideal. Uh, they're only worth one prize card, and if they get into the break, it's gonna be a little tricky to KO them because Choice Man is not effective towards them. So <clears throat> that that's could, that could cause an issue. All right, I'm hoping to top deck an Ultra Ball here. I think it's Greninja. But where does the water come in? Lapras? Lapras, Garbodor? I'm very confused by the water. Like, what water Pokemon combos with Trubbish? Alolan Ninetales? Oh! Oh! Well, hello, sir. Well played. Um. Man. Okay. So I'm gonna do that. There's nothing else I can do here. I'm gonna say, you have a good deck, sir. You have a good deck. Okay, so here is where I can do something. <sighs> okay, so I have my Lapras. I have all my Pokemon. Aqua Patches only have two. How many float stones? Two, eight energies. Um, I really need to get Lapras going. I need draw support. I don't know what to do here. I think I'm gonna have to wait. Not ideal. Oh, unless it's the ability lock. Oh no! That was the problem. That's what shuts down. That's what shuts down my uh, my trubbish, or my my Krasma. A double colorless? Why would you play double colorless in this deck? Well, that's all sorts of interesting. Okay. Um, I have no choice but to Ultra Ball away and get a Lele and possibly just grab a... Do I want N? I think I want N? Or Cynthia. If I N, I'd give him one more card. I don't essentially want to do that. 
Will you search your deck for a supporter card? Yes. Uh, I wish I could Sycamore, but it looks like my Sycamore is prized up. So I'm going to have to go with Cynthia. <clears throat> I think this is what I want to do. Maybe. Alright, I'm definitely going to Invasion. Because I want to charge up this Lapras. Now I can Ringaru, hopefully draw something I can use. Ugh. Nope. I'm going to have to end my turn here. So I have my Lapras charged up. I'm hoping I can get a Choice Ban and then, or a Float Stone. He pulls the water energy. Hmm. Why would you play double colorless, though? That's what's throwing me off. Oof. Why didn't you just KO it? Because you know I can KO you? <clears throat> this might be the wrong move here, but I have to figure this out. Um, See, now finally I get a tough match. <clears throat> now the question is, do I... I think I'm going to risk it here. I'm going to assume that he can't retreat. Though I could be wrong. Yep, I'm wrong. Alright. If he doesn't use Field Blower... Wait. Why did he... Oh, is he trying to shut off my ability? Yeah, he's trying to shut off my ability. Oh, no, there it is. Okay, and he's going to bring out that Garbodor. No, and... I'm so confused by this deck. It's, it's throwing me off in ways I, I, I never thought imaginable. <laughs> and he didn't attack? I am so lost. sorts of confused. Why didn't he attack? I'm just gonna GX you now. You could have KO'd me. Hmm. I'm at a loss. Was there something I didn't see? Okay, there's... Yep, yeah, there's the... Is that a Glaceon? Okay. Okay, so Glaceon shuts down my Necrozma. It's fine. It's not fine, but I have no other choice. He's gonna Lele into what? N? Sycamore? Cynthia? He's played already, like, what? Three Cynthias? Two Cynthias, a Guzma. He threw away two. Uh oh. Oh, well, that's never good. <clears throat> a 
Okay, so you can KO it, sure. What are you doing? Is he like trying to play some sort of psychological warfare with me? Like, I am just all sorts of loss. <clears throat> Why doesn't he attack me? This is where I'm getting confused, guys. I don't understand. Please help me understand. Okay, so yeah, he's gonna do Frost Bullet. I get that. He's gonna KO all my Dawn Wings. I, I see that. I'm bring out another one. I can't use my abilities, so this is where I retreat. Bring that one out. I Aqua Patch. where aqua patch comes in handy i'm going to attach the water to lele here i am going to get rid of that one and that actually no these two because this lapras doesn't really pose that much of a threat uh let's see what i get with a ringaroo uh nope Cynthia, <clears throat> this guy is playing mind games with me. Uh, I don't really need Poe Town, but I'm just gonna play it just to play it. Choice ban. Sure, why not? And then I will. Let me see. Okay, it's fine. Because I don't think I'm gonna play another Lapras. I think the next. Uh, best is going to be Tapu Lele. All right, Blizzard Burn and near knockout. <clears throat> now I can either Guzma, my Lapras, or my Necrozma. If he puts a choice man, he can actually knock out both and take four prize cards, which would be, which would make me sad actually. <clears throat> Mewtwo, what does Mewtwo do again? Uh, 20 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay. Aqua Patch onto who? Which Lapras? <clears throat> okay. Choice Band, sure. Mm -mm. Um. What do I want to do here? I'm gonna retreat, that's for sure. Three, six, eight. I think it's all my water energies, maybe. I don't think I have any more water energies left. Do I want to end here? I feel like I need to attach this quote stone to somebody. You know, let me just end. I'm okay with not attaching for right now. This game is stressing me out. <laughs> uh, I want to bring back that Guzma. I don't want to bring back anything else though. So, ooh, there's a Guzma right there actually. Um, 20, okay, so I'm gonna knock out this Glaceon. <clears throat> And let's see what he brings to the table. I could, I'm just waiting to Guzma into that damaged Lapras and then just KO him. But we shall see. What song is this from? Ocarina of Time. Zelda fans, Ocarina of Time is playing right now. Uh, Sheik's theme. All right, so he brings out that healthy Lapras, 20, 40, 60. Pretty much have game, unless he ends. If he ends, then there's a problem. Wait. Does that do weakness? 20, 40, 60, 80? No. Wait, 20, 40, plus a 20, 60. Oh, he ends. Oh, boy. <clears throat> uh, please, let me bring, please bring back Guzma. Please bring back my Guzma to me. Yes. It's game. 
It is game. Well played, sir. Oops. Almost clicking the wrong thing. I'm always afraid to click the click on the wrong attack. All right, so I'm not. I was a little confused about that match because I feel like he should have KO'd me early on, but I don't know if that would have left him stuck. Maybe. I don't, I don't know, I'm all sorts of confused. I'm going to play one more, um, just because the first three were pretty quick. So hopefully we get a good match here. Treasure chest, yay. That'd be sweet if I can get that full art end, but I don't think I'm gonna get the 2,000 by the end, by the end of eight days, by the end of a week. I don't think I am. Unless if I do, then I play a lot. All right, ooh. Uh, Buzz Wall, no, no, Guard of War, Guard of War Gallade. Okay, this, this will be the one match I lose, I think. Well, we shall see. Yes, I'm gonna go first. Please give me a good hand. Please give me a good hand. Okay, that's, that's not what I want. At least top deck a Lapras. That would be nice. Top deck of Lapras, top deck of Lapras, or an Ultra Ball. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Um, I think I'm going to go with the Cynthia on this one. I really don't want to give up either of these. Need that Lapras. I need to start charging it up. Okay. Um, I'm not in the best of positions here. I lost an Aqua Patch, which is not ideal. I start off with a late leg, definitely not ideal. I put the water energy there just so I could kind of start attacking. Oh, is this gonna be Sylveon? No, Sylveon is like the bane of everyone's existence right now. Because he's just going to bring out crushing hammers and just keep playing those or... Uh... Please don't have any crushing hammers. Okay, he's going to play a magical ribbon, probably to get crushing hammers. Would it be nice if I get draw into a max elixir, a water energy and a float stone. I want those three cards, a max elixir, a water energy, and a float stone. That way I can at least paralyze the Sylveon so that way it can't do anything to me. Uh, I am gonna put this Lapras here. Um, let's go ahead and Sycamore. Oof. All right, let me play the Oranguru. Let me play the float stone. I do have the water energy. I'm gonna take my chances here. I do, I'm gonna take my chances. I'm gonna double Rangaroo, hopefully grab a Max Elixir, or at this point, even an Aqua Patch. Here's the hoping. Oh, ho, ho, yes. This is what I want, right here. And then I'll play Potown, Instruct. Oof, oof, ah, I whiffed on that one, that's fine. Um, invasion, I'm gonna save that because I don't wanna waste it in case I need to attack with them later. Retreat, this, and I'm going to, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna Ice Beam. <clears throat> Cause I don't want him to get any more cards. I know he's probably got like a slew of crushing hammers that he's just gonna throw my way. Oh, he's gonna bring his Guard of War up. I didn't even think about that. Oh, I played this wrong. I should have I should have waited. Hmm. 
Mm. So I'm definitely going to get the first KO. 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. Yep, he's going to KO me for sure. <clears throat> I wonder if he plays any Curlius at all. He does. Okay. Alright, let's hope this works good. choice bet on him because even if I I can only do 190 he's only down to 200 I do have the Guzma I want to do it now though let's see what else I pull This may or may not be the raw move here, but we shall see. Only because I want to get this part out of the way. <clears throat> so he's essentially weakened. I just have to come in with my other Lapras, or even just the Tapu Lele. I don't even have to give up a Lapras. <clears throat> Twilight GX? Why? Because you think I'm stuck? But you know I can just retreat back, right? Well, this is odd. <clears throat> this is where I don't understand players and, and what they decide to do here. It's 190. I only have to do 30 more damage. I'm definitely going to play the Cynthia. I'm trying to figure out what this guy's game is. Alright. Uh, invasion. Retreat. And KO. Yeah. 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. He could have KO'd me. Why did he not KO me? These are questions I need to ask of these people. Choice ban. Okay, that gives, yep, that gives him the KO. Uh, let's see what I have to do here. I have to do a total of 170. Done. That's easy enough. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I'm trying to do, see if I can do it with um, Lele. Okay, so we got rid of the... The float stone, so I can't really do invasion anymore. Oof, the double orangaroos. Please don't end. Please don't end. If you end, that would be it. That's done. <clears throat> oh man, he is pushing hard. This is a very stressful game. As you can tell, I am I'm severely stressed. Okay, good. He knows to take that out. Okay, 
Okay, that was my Lapras. That's fine. Saw that one coming. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 130, but I need more, so I'm gonna do this. <clears throat> I just need to do, was it 170, right? Okay, 170. This, I'm gonna put this. I need down an aqua patch. Let me see what I have here. Two aqua patches. I have two float stones still. But I want to power up the Lele. But I want to power up the Lapras. I think I still have a chance. <clears throat> I think I still have a chance with the Lapras here. Um, I don't want to use that. Four and four. Let's give ourselves some options here. He's got too big of a hand, so I don't really want him to carry all those cards. <clears throat> I do have another float stone, which is good. I don't want to put on just yet in, in case he's got field blower. Alright, let's blizzard burn. This is a close game here. Close game. What do I need? I need a Guzma. I need a Guzma. If I can get a Guzma, I'm in good shape. Ooh, are you thinking I can't attack? You are surely mistaken, sir. Go ahead, magical ribbon. Magical ribbon, see what happens. See what happens. <clears throat> okay. Touche. Touche. He still has the retreat. Game. I have it. It's game. Because all I got to do is float stone onto, uh, onto Necrozma, invasion, retreat, attack. It's done. I got game. That's it. <clears throat> Doesn't matter what you get, man. That'd be nice. You have a good deck. Invasion. And end with a blizzard burn. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you guys, Lapras is a strong card and can be played just like Buzzwall gets played, just like any other deck with that high of attack gets played. Like Lapras needs to see a rise and play again. I might build that deck in real life. I don't know. That that that's a very good deck. I like that deck a lot. Okay, so going back to it, uh, let me go back to the deck itself. Sorry if this is a fairly long video, but we played like, what, five matches and only two of them we legitimately played. I wanted to show you guys what Lapras could do. <clears throat> so looking at it overall, uh, any sort of weaknesses to this? Uh, yeah, your floatstone could get blown away. Your ability could get shut off, which makes, you know, retreating that or resetting that attack uh, very costly, um, very dangerous. Uh, maybe Po Town could be a race, but just as you could see, you know, it helped out a lot, especially in Gardevoir. So actually, I might want to keep that Po Town. Maybe take out a Bridget and put in an extra Po Town. Um, I didn't really use Bridget. I don't think I used Bridget at all in any of those matches. Maybe I can't remember. Uh, but you know, either or, like it, it just works out because all of the Pokemon are basic. So you could essentially just up the Nest Ball, um, you know, count as well. But it, this is an awesome card, like. Lapras needs to come back. Uh, I'm wondering if, you know what? <laughs> Quagsire, <clears throat> sorry, uh, there is a Quagsire that just got revealed that's coming on Dragon Sword. It might actually be helpful here. Now I don't know if you want to make the room for it. Maybe drop an Oranguru uh, and, a, and a Bridget and put in a Wooper Quagsire, a 1 1 line, because Quagsire lets you move water energy to your active. Uh, so that might become handy, might become useful, but we shall see. Um, yeah, Lapras, I miss you, buddy. I need you to shine and, and be that star again uh, for all water Pokemon out there. Um, you guys should really try out this deck. I really recommend it. 
you know, if you, you can obviously pause at any point in time to write down the list or to, to look for the cards that you need. Um, but yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. Uh, I, it's a strong deck. I, it's like a five out of five deck. I, I don't, I don't know what else I would do differently really uh, about it. Um, the weakness to grass is, is an issue. Uh, I may not even need four Lapras. I could probably just use three Lapras. So there's, there's obviously a lot of tweaks you can do here, but yeah, overall strong deck. I like it. I hope you guys liked it. Please like, subscribe, do what you gotta do, and I shall see you all in the next video.